Okay, today is uh, June 10th, uh, 2018, and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate this engine on my engine test stand. Uh, this is a 604 uh, circle track race motor, and this motor is the pretty much the standard motor for all pro late model circle track racing uh, all over Northern Ontario. Uh, if you have a GM performance catalog, uh, it's called the CT400, that's a picture of it there. And this motor is offered for sale exactly as in the picture. The accessories on the motor right now are for purposes of starting it, and they belong to the engine test stamp. The code number on this stamp number on this motor, uh, I'm reading it off here, is 1MO226-4PO4. And so that's the exact same motor. And the purpose of this uh, video is to demonstrate that this motor runs just fine. Uh, I'm going to start it up and when I get it started you can see all the gauges here and I'm going to point right to the oil pressure gauge. The, the spec oil pressure for this motor is 40 psi at 2000 rpm and so I'm going to do that and show you that it has good oil pressure. The history of this motor, it was bought for uh, circle track racing. It's got all the seals on it so it's legal. Uh, it was certified by APC Racing Series and in Canada, but it's certified for any legal pro stock racing. All the seals are still intact, uh, the numbers are still registered, so you can put this in any pro late model in North America and run it just as it is without touching it. It was broken and uh, and dialed by John Saunders Racing uh, in Canada, and I have the dyno sheets for it. It makes 437 horsepower. Uh, which is at the upper end of the motors in this range. If you look at the catalog, they call it a CT400, but in actual fact, it's tuning. Uh, you can get that kind of horsepower. And I have the dyno sheets to prove that. Uh, the reason I'm selling it, the car that it was in is gone. This motor only has 70 bits on it. We normally race uh, 100 lap races, uh, so it's got an equivalent of about 500 miles on it combination of uh, quarter mile, three eight mile, and half, eight, half mile tracks. So it's only got the equivalent of about 500 miles on the motor. So uh, very little use, lots of life left in it. It's exactly intact uh, since it came from John Saunders Racing. And once again, except the accessories, once again, below the need to test that. So I'm going to start it up. Uh, and then I'm going to show you, uh, in fact, I'll show you now before we get started. I have one of the exact same motor in my 68Z28, and that's what they look like dressed up. If you want to see how fast they are, I can actually take you for a ride. This thing's uh, stupid fast with 437 horsepower uh, on the street, and that's what they look like uh, dressed up. Exact same motor as, as this one. So, okay, I'm going to start it up now and uh, let you hear it run. See, watch the gauges and Make sure that you can see that everything's good on it. Once again, the headers, the carburetor, all that stuff belongs to the engine test stand. Put the book down, pretty simple. All right, you're up. Looking at the oil pressure 40 psi at 2000 RPM. And for the oil pressure. Motor runs fine, all the rest of the gauges are fine, the stack works fine. Take it up a little bit. Okay. So, this motor is off for sale on Racing Junk and Alden Kijiji. Uh, you can contact me if you're interested, Alan Gold. Uh, email alangold at rogers.com or cell 226-980-7499. Uh, thank you very much.